Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. We've got our Arabian Nights playmat out today, which means we are going to look at some Arabian Nights cards from the 1993 Magic the Gathering set. Previously on the channel, we've looked at some signed Arabian Nights cards, some reprinted white bordered Arabian Nights cards, and some most recently some graded PSA and BGS Arabian Nights cards. Um, today's video is going to concentrate on graded. Arabian Nights cards, um, mostly in PSA cases. Um, I started collecting this set in, looks like 2017. And so what I did is I put together a spreadsheet of all the cards in the set alphabetically. There's 78 cards by with different names. There's an additional 14 cards that have um, light and dark printing variants. And the rarities are listed in this column. There were no rare cards in Arabian Nights, just uncommons and commons, but the commons and uncommons came in different rarities. And so the number U2, U3, um, C1, C2, C3, C4, C11 deals with how many times the cards appeared on the print sheet. So the fewer number of times the cards appeared, the more scarce and rare the card is and harder to find. And a lot of the more powerful cards were printed with the, the U2 rarity. Uh, and some of the less powerful, more common cards were C3 uh, in that version. So we're going to take a look at all the cards in the set today. Maybe do some, you know, how to, some tips and tricks uh, if you're collecting the entire set, what to look for, um, <clears throat> and um, just see how that goes. So the first card in the set is an Abu Jafar. It was an uncommon three. This is a mint nine copy. And that is the first card in the set. We'll put that right there. Second card in the set is Aladdin, very iconic card. This one is a mint nine. It's a little bit older label flip on the top. Uh, you can see the differences between PSA labels. The newer labels have a little hologram on the label. The older labels don't, but they're still uh, in the same kind of case. Then we skip over to Aladdin's Lamp and Aladdin's Ring. These are both uncommon too. This Aladdin's Lamp is a PSA 9. This Aladdin's Ring is a near mint to mint PSA 8. So the difference between 8 and 9, both of these are generally going to be pack fresh cards uh, with the 8 probably having some print, some like centering issues. So a little thicker border on the top than the bottom compared to the Aladdin's lamp, so you can see um, how PSA might grade differently if you're submitting cards. We have Alibaba, which is Uncommon 3, a little easier to find. This one is in PSA 8 condition, near mint to mint. And then Ali from Cairo, which is also in near mint to mint 8. It has a slightly older label. PSA put a little foil stamp on there before they went to the, the holographic image. Um, and you can also tell by the certification numbers, I think. Uh, the lower numbers were graded a little bit longer ago, and the newer numbers um, were graded more recently. This alley from Cairo also has a little print dot on it. There's a little white print dot that some collectors consider to be an alternate variant of alley from Cairo. Uh, that's the copy that I have in that set. Then there were also, as I mentioned, the light and the dark variants of cards. Army of Allah was the first card in the set. This was in, the dark version was printed in common three, uh, three times on the sheet. And the, the light variant was printed in common one, so only one time on the sheet, on the common sheet. Uh, this dark version is in near mint to mint 8.5. You can see the dark mana symbol there. The light version is near mint to mint eight and there's the light version. Um, PSA does distinguish on the submission forms between dark and lights. Um, they, they've recently started updating those. So back when this was submitted, light and dark was not a, a, a distinguished feature. So you just, either copy would just get a basic label, but now you can send them in and select dark or the light and they'll print that on the label as well. So that's Army of Allah, light, dark. Um, our first big rare, 
card, which is actually an uncommon three, is Bazaar of Baghdad. This one is a Mint 9 copy, recently graded just before the pandemic. Um, <clears throat> the next light dark variant is Bird Maiden to go with our bird sounds this morning. And these are both common twos. We have a near mint to mint eight, recently graded as a dark version with, you can tell by the dark mana symbol and a mint nine light version with the light symbol. So in the set registry, you're only allowed to put one certificate number in that spot for the set. So it really only recognizes the 78 cards. Um, so if you have two copies in light and dark version and they're not the same condition, you can enter the light certification number, the mint nine copy, and then it'll show that your, your bird mating card for the set is in mint condition. Um, Bottle of Suleiman is a PSA 8. And then Brass Man is Uncommon 3. Um, I had a copy in PSA 7 that I was hoping to upgrade to PSA 8, 8, 5, or 9. So I grabbed this BGS copy in 8, 5 to hold the spot. And I will look for a PSA copy to upgrade the set. Then there is Camel, which is a common five so it's a pretty common card this is a near mint to mint eight copy there's a lot of centering issues with this card um, there's also a, a light and dark variant um, that some collectors recognize it has to do with this the white mana symbol it's really hard to see with a loop and almost impossible to see with the naked eye so uh, PSA does not distinguish between light and dark variants so if you want to get both copies of the camel you'll have to find a, a number of copies, take a look at them under magnification and determine if you have both the light and the dark variants. Um, City in a Bottle is an uncommon two. This is a mint nine copy. Then we have City in a City of Brass, which is a uncommon three land, which lets you tap for one mana of any color, but does a damage to you. Also a mint nine. And then we have Kumbaj Wishes, which is common for, pretty easy to find. Um, this is a near mint to mint eight copy of that card. Um, Cyclone is uncommon three. This is a mint nine copy with some iconic art by Mark Tadeen. Uh, Dancing Scimitar by Anson Maddox. This is kind of like, the Scimitar is the set symbol. So this is a very iconic card for the set. Um, Uncommon 2. Uh, Dan Dan is a common 4. Um, this card suffered centering issues. This one's pretty well centered. Um, it got a mint 9 from PSA. Then there is Desert, which is a very common land. This copy is in Mint 9. Um, it's a common 11, printed 11 times on the sheet. However, there is a variant. Uh, there is a Desert variant that has a little print dot like Ollie from Cairo on this little sand mound back here. So um, it's known as the Mirage variant or Campfire variant. Um, PSA does not recognize the variant, so you can't get a desert with the label that says Mirage Campfire variant, So, but Beckett does. So if you wanna collect both copies of the desert card, you can get a regular desert and you can get you can find a misprint copy in a PSA holder, or you can get the, the Beckett version that'll distinguish that it is the Campfire version. Um, <clears throat> desert Nomads is a common four, that's a mint nine copy desert twisters um singular twisters is a group in uh arizona i think that plays magic and this is a mint nine copy of desert twister it's um uncommon three some of the uncommons also had the dark mana symbols this costs four colorless and two blue two green 
but they did not correct the dark mana symbols on the uncommons, just on the common cards, they fixed those. Um, Diamond Valley is a uncommon two. This one um, sacrifices your creatures for life points and this is a mint nine copy. Um, Drop of Honey. This is the next uncommon two on the list. Uh, this one is in near mint to mint eight. Copy. Ebony Horse is also uncommon too. Um, not as good as Drop of Honey, but this is a mint nine Ebony Horse. And then El Hajaj, also mint nine. And also uncommon too. Then we go to Elephant Graveyard, which has become a mechanic recently, getting elephants out of your graveyard. Um, this is a Mint 9 copy, Uncommon 2. We have um, Erg Raiders is a common, common. The dark version was printed in Common 3, and the light version was printed in Common 2. Um, I, I have a Mint 9 PSA dark version and a 8.5 BGS light version. So I'll probably look at crossing this over to PSA or finding a PSA copy. Um, to complete that, Urnum Dijin is an anagram of Herman. This is a Mint 9 copy. For that set, eye for an eye is uncommon three. Also a mint nine. Fish liver oil is common. The dark version was printed common three. This is a mint nine. The light version was common one. Also a mint nine. And you can see the older holders PSA did not distinguish light dark, but on the newer ones they do. So it is possible to get, you know, a newer slab with the dark version on the label. You could also, now that PSA is back open, you could submit these uh, for reholdering and they'll put a brand new label. They'll update the label and update the cases for you so that you could have everything matching if you wanted to. Uh, Flying Carpet is the next card. This uncommon three, we have Flying Men. That is a common five, so this was quite common. Both of these are mint nine. Gazban Ogre is a common four. This one is mint nine. No variant on that one. We have Giant Tortoise. This is a common three in the dark version which PSA labels that way. Um, I have a, a light 8.5 in a BGS holder. You just need to find um, the light version in a PSA holder. Um, Guardian Beast, one of my favorite cards. This one is a mint nine copy. Um, Guardian Beast is uncommon too, like most of the hard to find uncommons in the set. Push these up here. After Guardian Beast is Hasran Ogres. We have a uh, Mint 9 dark copy. The mana symbol down here is the dark version. Also a Mint 9 light copy. Um, this is a common 3, common 2. Her Jackal is a common four. This one is a mint nine copy. If Biff Afrit is uncommon two, here's a mint nine copy. Island Fish Jasconius is a mint nine. Uncommon two, so the uncommons had the darker 
colorless mana symbols, but we're not fixed. Then there's Island of Whack Whack. There's a newer graded PSA 9, Island of Whack Whack. Uncommon 2. We have Jander's Ring. PSA 9 Mint copy. Uncommon 2. Jander's Saddlebags, also Uncommon 2 in a PSA 9. Jeweled Bird, which is an Uncommon 3. Use the Ante. Let's you replace anti cards um, for different cards. And this is a near mint eight copy, which I consider probably pack fresh for Arabian Nights. If you opened up a pack of Arabian Nights, they're gonna be a little off centered, uh, some other condition issues. So eight is probably like a really solid copy without any play wear on it. Um, page two, there is Jihad PSA nine copy with some beautiful artwork of Soldiers and Horses by Brian Snowdy. Um, Junoon Afrit by Christopher Rush. This is an older graded PSA 9 copy in great shape. Then we have the Juzam de Jin, which is one of the you know, top three harder cards to find in the set. This is a near mint to mint eight copy that I had submitted with the, uh, the order before the pandemic. Um, let's put that right there. Um, uncommon two on the Dijin. Cabal Ghoul is also uncommon three. This one is a mint nine copy. Um, King Suleiman, Uncommon 2, this is a near mint to mint 8 copy. Kurt Ape, in a uh, common 5 variation, not a variation, but common 5 print rarity. This is a mint 9 copy of Kurt Ape. We have Library of Alexandria, which is the hardest card to find in the set. Uncommon three, but really good um, ability. Lets you draw cards if you have seven in your hand. Also taps for colorless mana, so no drawbacks to this land. Um, it's a mint nine graded a couple years ago with the older foil flip. We have Magnetic Mountain, which is Uncommon 3. We have Merchant Ship, which is Uncommon 3 as well. This is a Mint 9 copy. We have Metamorphosis which is common four in a mint copy by PSA. Um, get these on there. After Metamorphosis is the Mije de Jin. I think that's an anagram of Jamie. This is mint nine, uncommon two. Do we have Moorish Calvary, which is a common with the variant, with the print variant. Um, dark and Light. This is the dark copy in a PSA 9. Common 4. This is a light copy near Mint to Mint 8, which is only a common one. So the lighter versions were printed with much less... Uh, quantities, so the lights are going to be harder to find than the dark common variants. We have a mountain, which also appeared in the beta edition. This was like um, the third art variant that did not appear in alpha beta by Doug Schuler. Um, it first appeared in the Arabian Nights set. This is a mint nine. It's the only basic land 
besides Desert that was printed in Arabian Nights and Naf's Asp is a next light dark variant common card. PSA does distinguish light and dark on the label. This is a mint nine. Here is a BGS nine dark variant, uh, sorry, light, light variant. And I'll probably try to find this in PSA as well. Um, Oasis, uncommon four, kind of a basic land, but not basic, but just, you know, non-basic land. The taps to prevent damage to any creature. Mint nine. Old Man of the Sea is uncommon two. This one is a PSA nine. Then there's two copies of Oubliette. Both common two variants. One has the dark mana symbol and other one has the light mana symbol. These two were graded in the same submission a number of years ago, as you can tell by the cert numbers, but that's both copies of Oubliette in PSA 9. PID is also a two variant common. The dark is common three. This is a mint nine. The light is common one. This is also a mint nine. Um, these are both newer labels, but different submissions. We have pyramids, which is a hard card to find, but important for a Arabian Night set. Fits the theme. This is a near mint to mint eight copy. Uh, it's a really off centered a little bit. So you can see this side, top and left side are thicker than the bottom and right side. It is uncommon too, like some of the other lands and artifacts. We have Repentant Blacksmith, uncommon two in a mint nine. Then we have Ring of Maruf, which lets you find cards from outside the game. This is a uncommon two artifact, PSA nine. Rook Egg is common, three and common one. The dark version is three times on the sheet. The light version is one time on the sheet, and this is an eight and a nine dark. Um, PSA does distinguish light and dark, so you can get both of those labels to say light dark. Sandals of Abdallah is in a PSA eight. Uncommon three. Uh, Sandstorm is a common, I believe, common four. So this appeared four times on the sheet. This is a mint nine copy. Serendib de Jin is an uncommon two. Mint nine copy. Serendib of Freet is also a great card. Reprinted and revised with the If Biff artwork on a green border. So. Um, really hard to find this art version of the card. This is a mint nine copy. Then we have Shaharazad, which is also uncommon too. Um, near mint to mint eight, due to some centering issues. A little um, left, left to right, it's a, shifted a little bit. We have Sinbad, also near mint to mint eight. Looks kind of like the Shaharzad. This is Uncommon 3. Singing Tree is Uncommon 2. This is a Mint 9 copy. We have Stone Throwing Devils. Nope, sorry, Sorceress Queen first. Sorceress Queen. Uncommon 3 in a Mint 9. Then we have Stone Throwing Devils, which there are light and dark variants. Um, PSA will distinguish light and dark. The older labels won't um, say light or dark. The newer ones will. They're, this one's harder to find. Uh, the dark version is in PSA 9. The light version is in PSA 8. Um, you could probably see, these are, it. you can tell by looking at them that this one's a little darker and this one's a little lighter. Um, though I do 
after my research on the camel, I think, I do think the darker symbol means it's the light version and the lighter symbol means it's the dark version. Um, but either way, that's both copies of that. We have unstable mutation in a mint nine. We have two war elephants. Uh, this is a dark common three and a light common one. Dark is in PSA holder. The light is in BGS holder. Um, these were drawn by Kristen Bishop. It's the only magic card she drew. Very hard to find her cards signed. Then we have uh, Wailuli Wolf. It was a common four in the dark version and a common one in the light version. And so those are both copies of that. This is a mint nine dark version, near mint to mint eight light version. And the last card in the set that we looked at recently was the Edwin Afrit. This is the PSA nine copy that we picked up. Um, it completes our PSA graded Arabian Nights set. And um, that's the complete set. I encourage anybody that is interested in um, collecting the set to go for it. It's a very small set. 78 cards plus the variants makes about 92, 93 cards uh, if you're counting, 94 if you're counting the camels and the deserts. Um, but it's very manageable. It's a very rewarding set. And um, it's something that we have some experience with on this channel. So if you're interested in learning more about PSA graded cards, BGS graded cards, feel free to subscribe to this channel and you'll get notifications next time we do uh, videos about graded cards. Um, PSA has recently lowered their submission and collectors club memberships. So I feel like this might be a good time to start submitting some cards to PSA again. And then we can open those up on the channel and show you um, what, uh, what we get from PSA. The last thing I'll show you too is um, no set would be complete without a sealed booster pack of Magic cards. So this is a sealed Arabian Nights booster pack from 1993. This uh, are these kind of like wax pack kind of um, packages, wrappers. This was a near mint to mint eight because it had um, been handled a little bit in the box and shifted. Um, PSA does flip the ends over. I think maybe some of the more modern packs, they've expanded this so that they don't flip the ends of the packs over. But anyway, this is a very sealed uh, pack from an unsearched box. So I don't know what cards are inside this, this, um, this booster pack, but there are eight cards of Arabian Nights cards. I think all of the cards in the pack are probably near mint to mint condition. Um, but the sealed pack is worth more than the graded cards individually. So we're gonna keep that sealed just like that. And uh, that is a thank you for everyone who watched the video today. Um, stay tuned for more Arabian Nights videos, more PSA videos. Um, give this video a like if that was um, what you were looking for and a comment or two below if there's anything you're trying to find for your set. Um, we'll be happy to answer those as well. So thanks everyone. Have a great week. See you in the next video.